Now you might be interested in what what is it like inside a cover crop. Now we've actually thought about doing a, a crop maze in here, as you can see. Right, it's it's pretty good. You can uh, build a maze in here. These are about seven feet tall, but what I want to show you is the floor. So this is the whole point of growing a cover crop is the floor. Okay, so the floor is pretty clean, but there's still some nut sedge in here. You see there's some nut sedge right there. See how leggy it is? The leaves are really long. Now, that's not going to kill the nut sedge, but I, in my my view, the nut sedge won't propagate very much when there's a cover crop. So it does minimize the uh, expansion of the nut sedge population. And notice there's no crabgrass. That's another big problem weed. It's pretty clean, no crabgrass. That's that's a huge benefit. So when there's no crabgrass, there's no seeds from crabgrass. So we get rid of the seed, right? We're not uh, expanding the seed bank when there's a cover crop present. So that's a positive. See, it's just just sun hemp. That's what we're growing here, sun hemp. You know, it looks a little like marijuana, but uh, it's a good good cover crop. The seed's not too expensive. It varies though. It goes up and down. Uh, nice flowers, good for photo shoots. Um, as you can see they really uh, just little stalks. They don't attract nematodes. This particular one. So nematodes are worms in the ground in the soil. Microscopic worms are uh, you know, just like a less than a millimeter. Can't you can't see them really without a microscope. Uh, so that's a big benefit too. There you go. So that's the outcome of a cover crop. Uh, we're in field DW for reference next to these trees. See. Uh, in just a few minutes, this will just be a bare open field. Uh, and then we're going to start uh, getting ready to uh, grow some vegetables.